Dear students, welcome to the new class. I am Ruksana Parvin, lecturer, Department of Civil Engineering, Wall University of Bangladesh. Today is our first class. The course title is Permeability and Seepage with credit hours 3. Hope the class will be so interesting to you. In today's lecture, we will cover permeability, factors affecting permeability, Nurse's law, determination of coefficient of permeability, constant head permeability test, mathematical problems on constant head permeability test. Permeability. Permeability is the property of porous materials which permits the passage or shippage of water through its interconnecting voids. A material having continuous void is called permeable. Gravels are highly permeable, while stiff clay is least permeable and such a clay may be termed as impermeable for all practical purposes. In this figure, the solid particle are the soil grains and it may be gravel, sand or silt. The space among the solid particle represents porosity. If the particle size is small, the porosity will be lower. And increase of large particles, the porosity will be greater. In this figure, we can see in loose soil, the porosity will be greater than the dense one. According to the definition and from the explanation of this diagram, clay particles that means small particles has the least permeability and as the particle size increases upward from clay to gravel, the permeability is also increases. This figure represents the process of permeability. The soil will be impermeable and have low porosity if there exist few pore spaces as like this. The soil will be impermeable and have medium porosity if the pore spaces are unconnected. The soil will be permeable and have high porosity if the pore spaces are connected. Soil permeability is the rate at which water and air move from upper to lower soil layer. In case of high porosity, the permeability will be high. And in case of low porosity, the permeability will be low. Gravel exhibit rapid drainage for high porosity. Fine sand exhibit moderate drainage due to medium porosity. As the clay has no or little porosity, so it exhibits slow or no drainage. The process of water passing into the soil is called permeability. Factors so those affect the permeability are grain size, properties of pore fluid, void ratio of soil, Structural arrangement of soil particle, entrapped air and foreign matter, absorbed water in clay soil. Darcy's law. The law of flow of water through soil was first studied by Darcy, who demonstrated experimentally that the laminar flow conditions in a saturated soil, the rate of flow or the discharge per unit time is proportional to the hydraulic gradient. Thus Q equal to Kia. Q by A equal to Ki. Again, we know discharge Q equal to cross-sectional area into velocity. So, we can write V equal to Q by A equal to Ki from equation 1. Where Q equal to discharge per unit time. A equal to total cross-sectional area. I equal to hydraulic gradient equal to HL by L. K equal to Darcy's coefficient of permeability. And V equal to velocity of flow or discharge velocity. The coefficient of permeability can be determined by the following methods. First one is laboratory methods. It can be subdivided into constant head permeability test falling head permeability test. Secondly, field methods. 
It can also be subdivided into pumping, out test, pumping in test. Lastly, indirect methods. It can also be subdivided into computation from grain size or specific surface, horizontal capillarity test, consolidation test data. Constant head permeability test. The constant head permeability test is a common laboratory testing method used to determine the permeability of granular soils like sands and gravels containing little or no silt. Falling head permeability test. The falling head permeability test is used to determine the permeability of fine grade soil with intermediate and low permeability such as silts and clays. Constant head permeability test. Figure shows the diagrammatical representation of constant head test. Water flows from the overhead tank considering of three tubes. The inlet tube, the overflow tube, and the outlet tube. The constant hydraulic gradient I causing the flow is the head A's divided by the length L of the sample. If Q is the total quantity of flow in a time interval T, we have formed Darcy's law. Q equal to Q by T equal to KIA. We know from Darcy's law Q equal to KIA. Again, we know hydraulic gradient I equal to H by L. Replacing I equal to H by L, we can write K equal to QL by AHT where A equal to total cross-sectional area of the sample, Q equal to discharge per unit time, T equal to time, I equal to hydraulic gradient equal to H by L, K equal to Darcy's coefficient of permeability, capital Q equal to total quantity of flow in a time interval T. Let's solve a problem. A sample core sand is 15 cm high and 5.5 cm in diameter that is capital L equal to 15 centimeter and diameter D equal to 5.5 centimeter. It was tested in a constant head parameter. Water permeated through the soil under a hydrostatic head of 50 centimeter for 6 seconds. That means A is equal to 50 centimeter and time T equal to 6 seconds. The water was collected and it was found to weigh 500 gram that means q equal to 500 gram find the permeability in centimeter per hour that means we have to calculate the value of k we know k equal to ql by a h t here from question l equal to 15 centimeter d equal to 5.5 centimeter a equal to pi by 4 d square and d equal to 5.5 centimeter. Finally, we get a equal to 23.7 centimeter square. a is equal to 50 centimeter. q equal to 500 gram equal to 500 centimeter cube. As we know, 1 gram equal to 1 centimeter cube. Time t equal to 6 seconds equal to 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 3 hours. Replacing all these values in this equation, we get k equal to 3790 centimeter per hour. And this is the end of our today's lecture. Thank you everyone.